Well, Governor, first of all, I'm not surprised that you have a, a case and likely more cases in California. And we likely will be seeing reports from other states. Colorado were the first to do that. I think you're going to start seeing it because if you have that much of a prominence of this in the UK with all the travel, not only directly to the United States, but through other countries intermittently, like where you go from UK to France, France to the United States, et cetera. Then Canada has cases. So I don't think that the Californians should feel that this is something odd. This is something that's expected. With regard to your specific question, there's a lot we know about it because the, our British colleagues have been studying it carefully. And there are things that we will soon learn more about them in a more definitive way, literally as the days and weeks go by. So the things you mentioned is that it looks pretty clear from the UK group that in fact, the transmissibility of this mutant is more efficient than the transmissibility of the standard virus that we've been dealing with up to now. Namely, it just is, it's able to bind to the receptors on cells better and therefore is transmitted better. There's no indication at all that it increases the virulence. And by virulence, I mean the ability to make you sick or kill you. It doesn't seem right. to make it more strong in that regard. In addition, it doesn't seem to evade the protection that's afforded by the antibodies that are induced by vaccines. The other thing that they've noted in the UK is that people who have been infected don't seem to get reinfected by this, which means that the immunity that's given to you when you get infected is protective against this particular strain. And thus far, it doesn't seem to have any impact on diagnostics where you would miss it from a diagnostic standpoint. One of the things, Governor, we want to keep our eye out on is that since these are specific mutations, we want to make sure that they don't evade the protection of certain of the monoclonal antibodies, because the monoclonal antibody is against a very specific component of the virus. Whereas when you get vaccinated, the immune response that you make is called polyclonal, which means it's against many different parts of the virus. So even though you have one part of the virus that's changed, it is very likely that the other components of the vaccine-induced response will protect you. So that's what we know about it now, but we're following this extremely carefully. We have isolates from the UK. We're working on it here at the NIH and at a number of other laboratories throughout the country. Yeah, it's interesting. California, just to level set so people have a sense, we've been testing about five to 10,000 tests a week, genomic tests uh, with our partners, UCSF up here in Northern California, CZ BioHub uh, partnership. And uh, we've not seen that strain until, again, the news out of Southern California today. But what, because I imagine any mutation, you know, just scares the average person. The average person hears that variation, but this is not abnormal as it relates yeah. to these RNA viruses. I mean, what, how, can, how do you calm the nerves for those okay. that have nerves uh, around this issue? <laughs> okay, so to all of my, my Californian friends, <laughs> and I have many, they, they should realize that, that this is an RNA virus. In other words, the makeup of it is RNA. RNA viruses, they make a living out of mutating. They love to mutate. The more you replicate, the more you mutate. So when you have a lot of virus that's circulating in the community, it means it's infecting a lot of people. It's, it's replicating a lot. And when you replicate, you mutate. The overwhelming majority of mutations are irrelevant. They don't have any impact on any important function of the virus. Every once in a while, you get a mutation that does impact a function of the virus. It appears from what we learned from the UK and what we'll prove here is that this particular mutation does in fact make the virus better at transmitting from one person to another. Hey, did you know we have a video podcast called WJ Live? The Western Journal's mission is to equip readers with the truth. That's the exact same mission we have on WJ Live. You'll hear from writers, editors, and special guests on the most important topics of the day. You can watch it live every day at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific at youtube.com slash WJ Live. While you're there, help us out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss out on any future episodes.